and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and welcome to another episode in James DIY Garage. Except if you haven't noticed, we're not in my garage today. I'm James and this is my 2014 Maserati Ghibli SK4. I've had her for six years as of yesterday and she has 94,000 miles on it plus. In this video, we're going to, uh, I'm going to do a short walk around just to show you guys what it looks like after six years of being a daily driver. And I'm going to explain how it's been over the last six years. Stay tuned. Now it was eight, nine months ago eight, nine months ago, eight months ago, that when I replaced the uh, oil pressure sensor on my Maserati Ghibli here. And ever since then, I've been daily driving it with absolutely no issues at all. I've been really enjoying it. I'll tell you what, it is a pleasure driving this car. The, the, the honeymoon is not over. Six years went by fast, and time flies, as you know, when you're having fun. And I have been having fun with this. So that six years went by really fast. I just hope that next two years goes by really fast because I retire in two years. At any rate, yes, I'm going to do a short walk around with this car, uh, around this car just to show you some of the things that I've done to it and uh, that's happened to it. And Okay, we're going to start from the front here. As you can see, I've got some rock chips on, there, on her now. Um, that's just from daily driving. Got a couple here. Got a few over here. I don't know if this, you can pick this up on the camera. But I've got a few chips here. This is just normal from daily driving it. A few track chips here. Other than that, not too many. The paint job on the bumper still looks pretty good. And my, uh, my rims are looking good with one exception. I have a slight gouge right here I don't know if they can pick that up on the video on the video but a slight gouge or not a gouge but a I don't know when that happened I'm thinking it happened at the car wash uh, I go to a touchless car wash and the the entrance to the car wash is kind of narrow so I'm really careful but apparently I wasn't careful enough I don't I don't remember feeling that it's really light so I can barely feel it with my hand. Just a little slight discoloration. I tried buffing it out and that's the best I can do. At any rate, as far as blemishes, that's about it for the blemishes. And back when I first, after this car, maybe, maybe one year out there about this car, I got the carbon fiber uh, B pillar covers here. But uh, all the rest of the rims, zero curb rash, nothing. Close this trunk. And of course, my James DIY garage sticker. If you guys want one, uh, just uh, shoot me a comment on this video and um, we'll, we'll find a figure out a way to get you one. And I've got a JB4 badge on it because it has a JB4 tune. I'll show you that in a little bit. And we put this um, spoiler wing on the car maybe three four years after i had the car i can't remember exactly when and jb4 uh burger tuning sticker starting to crack and come off anyhow all the lights work back end looks really nice as you remember um my uh on my car the uh diffuser and the side skirts are all the same color as the car I had that done over at Eric's place. He did a fantastic job. You see there's no flat black here. They're all the same color as the car. Same on this side. Zero blemishes on the wheels. I had a car wash, I had it washed yesterday, but uh, they didn't really uh, do a good job on the, 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 those car washes. I haven't had time to do a complete buff on the car either. So there's some, water spots on it too so it's not perfect I usually why well, I usually buff it but I just haven't had time too many honeydews and this room is flawless 
no scratches or or a curb rash on it let's go to the interior you see I keep my car spick and span very clean I've got the carbon fiber window covers window button covers here and all around my car came with carbon fiber uh, trim I've got the carbon fiber trim here on the steering wheel um, I haven't gone all out with the carbon fiber yet <laughs> I want to get a carbon fiber cover for the uh, bezel here and uh, I'd like to get a carbon fiber cover for that um, this carbon fiber is kind of cracked here I'm thinking about getting a carbon fiber cover for this and putting a another carbon fiber cover on top of the carbon fiber because uh, those are very expensive to buy a new one of those just just for this carbon fiber piece here is so uh, I believe it was seven hundred dollars so it's pretty expensive and in the back it's my jacket there it's been chilly lately but you can see I keep the inside of my car um, flawless you know clean I take care of my baby my car came with a dual the two-tone um, leather this is full leather full like genuine leather here it's got the stitching as you can see um, it's leather here as well too full, the genuine leather the doors are genuine leather it's got the stitching on top here so you can tell it's genuine leather all this is genuine leather the leather even continues down here underneath the dash that's my pedal commander right there um, my floor mats look like they've been used <laughs> and I got the I've got the uh, paddle shifters again genuine Italian leather here even under the dash the glove box the seats on the doors all genuine leather carbon fiber window button trim same on the both back doors as well it's genuine Italian leather all around okay. when I first was looking for a car for the Maserati I wanted I, I was looking at a lot of them and I noticed that some had the genuine leather and some did not some had the the fake leather like this here ah, like this here this is fake leather here in the back of the the console here the back part of the console it is fake leather and that's what you put on the other cars on like the base models that's what you have on the dashboard it's all over and the, the doors and all that and underneath you got that fake leather here's here's some other sample these aren't this isn't real leather here either this is just rubber but all along here is genuine leather you can tell I don't have very many passengers I use this car a lot for for uh, going to um, going to the gym going to work I drive it every day to work every day that I go downtown to work so let's open up the hood and show you uh, the engine on my beast. Come on. And there we go. And here she is. Canon filters. That's what I've done. I've, I've put Canon filters and I clean them. I've cleaned these about three times already since I bought them. Here's my uh, JB4 tune box right here. And you'll see I've got the wires going up. The uh, Bluetooth thing is right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. There's the Bluetooth uh, adapter there for the JB4. I have it wrapped up and, and protected with uh, electrical tape there and uh, it goes up along here and I, I went through the firewall 
I didn't do the I didn't do the, the along the door thing here I went through the firewall to get the, the cable in there for the connector I actually pulled it from there to here but uh, I'm always main I always check my fluid levels I baby this car I'm getting rid it's uh, got 5,000 a little over 5,000 miles on this current oil change I've got the oil and the filter and the crush washer to do the change. I can do the change anytime I want. I'm probably going to do it next weekend. And she looks pretty clean, doesn't she? I keep her clean. I take care of her. If you take care of this car, this car will last you a long time. This is living proof right here. I take care of it. This is my retirement car. And I'm going to keep this. I'm not getting rid of this. I've already been offered good money for the car from a, a car sales a car sales guy. He owns a car lot. He wants to buy my car. I said, mm -mm, no, I'm not selling. I don't want to sell my car. I'm keeping her. Wouldn't trade her in. Oh, here's something I did with it. Did. This side. I, you guys, I did a video on this. That is a 360 camera. And it's got uh, 4G wireless. Um, I can access my camera from anywhere in the world from anywhere as long as I have internet access this has internet access um, via 4G I can access my camera it's also got GPS uh, it's, it's a really nice device really nice I like it a lot I can set it to a uh, um, motion sensor and bump so if somebody bumps the car it'll send notification to my phone if I uh, do motion sensor notifications it'll send a notification to my phone if the notific if the uh, somebody gets close to my car um, doesn't do the siren thing but uh, it notifies me and I can then I can um, I can talk to people that are um, if somebody breaks into the car I can talk to them in the car I can tell them you know you might want to park my car because I know where you are <laughs> GP I have GPS installed on this car so yep so there you are short walk around a little longer than I wanted it to but I love showing off my car. Well, I hope to like the little uh, walk around review of uh, my car. Uh, you got to see how it's doing, how it's looking. And uh, if uh, I've had this car for six years now I've got it uh, October 28 2017 it's been a uh, fast six years time flies when you're having fun the honeymoon's still not over I keep saying that so uh, if, you, if you are in the market for a Maserati Ghibli here are some things that you should uh, be be cognitive of uh, well first of all you're looking for the car okay I would get what you want um, what are you looking for in the car as you see in my car, I've got the 20-inch rims, I've got the red calipers, I've got the, the, the genuine leather two-tone um, dash and seats and, and doors, you know, leather doors, you saw it earlier. I've got all the leather, I've got the carbon fiber trim. Um, if that's important to you, I would just, I would look for that. I, I, it, it, paddle, paddle shifters. A lot of people on the, in the Maserati uh, Facebook groups are looking to have paddle shifters installed in their cars because they bought one without them. So that's a pain in the butt. If you want to have paddle, if you, I would look for paddle shifters to begin with if you want paddle shifters in your car. That was important for me. I, it had to have paddle shifters. And I had to have the 20 inch rims, the red calipers, and the two-tone dash. I had to have that. I'm glad I found this car. <laughs> and it had to be an SQ4. I wanted all wheel drive. So. Be, sure, uh, be beware of what you're looking for. Uh, don't just take the first one that comes, that the first Maserati that comes up. Another thing, maintenance history. Please do what you can to find out how it was maintained in the past. You can get the VIN, call the dealership, the Maserati dealership, or go to, if you have one in your area, go there and give them the VIN and ask them if they can give you a printout without the four prior customers' names of all of the previous history. I was able to get that for my car. So I asked them if they can give you a uh, um, the maintenance history of the car and what I would be looking for is oil changes not necessarily what was replaced not necessarily um, the the things that went wrong with it because uh, those have been fixed 
uh, what I would be worried about is the, the oil change interval. How often was the oil change? Um, were they, were they uh, um, you know, consistent in the oil changes? Mm -hmm. All the oil changes may not be in that report. They may have gotten oil changes outside of the dealership if it's, if it's not under warranty. So the Carfax, uh, you get an oil change at a, at a good dealership, then it will have records of oil changes in the Carfax report. For me, I keep all the, I do all my own oil changes, I do all my DIY maintenance, and I've always, in all my videos that I've, uh, that I've talked about this, I keep records of my, my oil changes, I keep records of everything I've done in the car, plus I've got my YouTube channel documenting everything I've done in my car. Not, I not every oil change is in, as in, as in my, uh, my YouTube video. And that would get boring. <laughs> you guys, I've got three of them on there, I think i got three or four oil changes on there already. So, uh, but I, I don't need any more oil change videos. But um, uh, the documentation of its, pre of its previous, you know, maintenance history is something that you should be looking for. If you can't find it, if you can't get it, that's there's a risk there. Okay. Also, if you when you're looking at the car, um, I you know, and you're doing the look over yourself, I would look at the rotors to make sure there's not excessive wear on them, both front and back. Um, check out the, the, the brake pads, you can see them clearly. On, well, on these rims you can anyhow. One thing that I would do though, is I would pull the oil cap off. And when you do that, you can see the valve, part of the valve train in there. And what you see in there will tell you if there's been regular oil, change, oil changes or not. Uh, if you see a lot of varnish, and uh, carbon buildup in there, you know, uh, a lot of crud in there. Say no, thank you, I'll find another one. But if it's nice and clean, like mine is here, then that would be a car to, to consider buying. Because a clean valve train tells you that the, the oil changes were done on a regular basis. Uh, I talked about what you want, look for, get what you want, talked about maintenance history, um, oh, have a pre-inspection pre done on the car, uh, pre-purchase inspection done on the car. That would be really important, because uh, they'll put it up on a, uh, um, if you bring it to a, a professional to have it done, they'll put it up on a lift and they will look at it and they'll check out the suspension and, and all that stuff. And uh, these cars are known for making front suspension noise, mine does. Um, everybody else I know, their car makes front suspension noise. So some people have, I know people that have tried change, that have had the, the uh, rear, the, uh, the, the lower control arms replaced, didn't really fix the sound issue. They still make some noise, so. Um, but uh, mine's nice and solid. I put mine up on my lift and I, I'm always checking my suspension. I can grab onto the, to the, the, um, the controls. I can just shake them. There's nothing giving. There's no movement, uh, nice and tight. The, tire, the wheels are nice and tight. Everything's nice and tight. I, I use a crowbar and I get in there and I try and um, move the lower control arms. And I, I inspect the, the rubber bushings. No cracks. I don't see any cracks on them. They're nice and uh, malleable and um, no movement. Uh, not excessive movement. Uh, no noise or anything. I have my, my son turn the steering wheel and I don't hear the movement when it's up on the lip. So, at any rate, those are the things that I, that I, uh, that you should be looking for or looking at when you're looking for your Maserati Ghibli. I'd like to thank you for, so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you like what you see. Like this video and leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. It's battle time now.